Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to the Two Toys channel. Okay, uh, this time around I want to share with you guys recent release from Mini GT. It has been a while since they've done this uh, Audi RS6. Okay, so this time a little bit of a twist, not the same as the previous version. Um, I don't know if we can call it a new casting. So yeah, I already basically got some of them out of the box because they're already on display over at Collector's Cube. Okay, uh, and also I've already done a quick review of them uh, a couple of weeks back, one or two weeks ago. So now I thought I want to spend a little bit time on them because I, I felt they are quite interesting. And uh, we had someone who, who requested for, for this video as well. So thank you. If you have any, if you see any cars that you see me doing, especially mini GD cars that you want me to review, uh, spend a little bit more time on it, just let me know. Okay, so uh, today's main focus would be this too, the Audi app. RS6R, okay, this would be number 49, eh, 479, alright, and then the Audi, uh, the app Audi RS6, okay, Johan app signature edition, this would be number 514, so, um, they actually Mini GT has came out with quite a few uh, RS6 Avan already, uh, I have three of them here, I do have uh, another three that's not here, uh, but they are, yeah, hidden, hidden inside somewhere, Okay, so I thought I'd just take this tree out since I found them. And uh, this is number... Oh, three numbers back to back. Number 255, this would be the... I think it's... Uh, does it says here? Yep, it does says here. Audi RS 6 Advanced Silver Digital Camouflage China Exclusive. This is number 255. This one is the, the one with the roof box uh, variant. Okay, number 256. And uh, number 257 would be... Mythos black metallic with roof box as well. I have all three here. So the three that's not here would be the plain, um, the blue, the red, and also the silver. All of them without, um, without the roof box. Okay. So number two five five would be the one without roof box, right? Yeah. This would be the one. Okay. I really like uh the the rims, the the detailed rims on this thing. The camouflage detail actually does look quite okay. Uh. A good variant to the plain color ones because the first two released was actually in blue and then in red. Um, after that, the silver one came and then this two Chinese, uh, China exclusive. Then um, the black one was re released and then basically it was quiet for a while, until, until now. <laughs> okay, so yes, very very nice casting. I think Mini GT has has pulled this casting off very nicely uh very 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 how to say see even this line right this black line yeah it actually appears on a real car as well so even this black black line here is done uh, on this 64 scale okay so that's pretty cool and then comes uh number 257 the mythos or the mythos black right is it called mythos black yeah mythos black metallic Okay, with the roof box. So this roof box is fixed. Okay, you can't take it off. Okay, okay. So this is the uh, the stock. Okay, RS six Avan. Avan. All right. So ha huh, come came the app version. Okay, app. Uh, all right, hang on. Audi app RS six R. Okay, Daytona Grey. Now this guy uh, app is actually a tuning company. Um, not just tuning company. Actually, they they own um, they run racing teams and they do have quite a fair bit of success in DTM. Um, they I think they they had a little bit of a uh, a couple of success in uh, Formula E as well, and uh, they do participate actively in uh, quite a few uh, races uh, under the flag name um, factory name um, Audi. So App actually do focus on uh, aftermarket parts, performance parts for uh, major Volkswagen brands, uh, mainly Audi, Volkswagen, Skoda, Seat as well. Okay, so they are not just a, a cosmetic company, <laughs> if you get what I mean, right? Cosmetic parts company. They do actually go races and uh, um, we do see some of their modifications, right? Especially on this guy. So the stock one, right? So-called the stock RS6 Avan, which is crazy already, has 600 horsepower. This version, the RS6 R, has 730 horsepower. Okay, it's upgrades on the engine, the exhaust, uh, some aero parts as well. So they do, they do make quite crazy stuff. 
and when I say crazy, it's it's uh, also functional and practical. So it's not just you know uh, with the arrow bits, right? It's all working. They do test the R six in a freaking wind tunnel as well. Okay, so it is pretty crazy. Okay, it is pretty crazy. Nice. Okay, so check this out. Okay, look at the front grille. You can see the difference and the intake. Okay, the left and right. It does. Well, it is still similar, but uh, they use a different uh, grill design okay, compared to the RS6. The front lip is different. Um, what else? Uh, I think... Apart from that, others does look similar. So it, it is quite nice to see a couple of variants here and there. Variants uh, of the casting here and there. So it has that uh, skirting as well. Okay, The app version has the skirting as well. It has this uh, vent here. Okay, and uh, for the app version right of this uh, RS6R, there's only 125 uh, units was made, and um, it was actually to commemorate 125 years of uh, app. So they actually started off as a blacksmith in uh, Germany. Okay, and uh, yeah, I didn't realize they already 100 and what this year is 127 years, 125 years. This car was actually uh, the the R6R is actually released in 2021. Okay. Nice. Alright. So the black rims it's is true to, to the real car. Um, it's very close design, but I, I do prefer I do prefer the stock upon rim design. Nice. Okay. Then so this this 125 pieces was made. 125 samples of this was made, the real car, and then um, sold out. Okay, this was sold out. This is in Daytona Grey. Uh, there will be another variant coming out um, in blue. Okay, in blue. So as far as I know, Advan, uh, these RS6 right variants, I think there's only one um, that's on pre-order and it's not out yet. Okay, then came, so this was sold out. The real car was sold out. Then came the John App Signature Edition. Okay, so only 64 of these uh, real cars was made. Uh, was convert only 64 was converted uh, that was this is actually to uh, commemorate that uh, John about the founder of the company right uh, was 64 years old when he passed away okay so only 64 was made um, they a couple of uh, 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 significant uh, changes would be especially the engine again the number of horsepower so stock 600 stock ones 600 horsepower 730 horsepower this guy they push it up to 800 horsepower freaking crazy so so that plus some of the arrow bits right actually allows this this John about signature edition to actually do um, 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds it's pretty crazy 0 to 200 km per, per hour uh, which is about 124 miles per hour right in 9 point something second under 10 seconds okay it means under 10 seconds you can go from 0 to 200 kilometers per hour it's pretty 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 crazy okay for uh for a car that weighs this is uh, i think 2000 over kilograms so that is pretty pretty crazy what app has done done to this car so a couple of uh things to note the red metallic carbon fiber uh well, red metallic. Mm, the red tone carbon fiber, okay, around the car. The front lip, um, there's an intake here as well. I mean, there's an outlet, sorry, there's an outlet there. There's some skirt details as well. It's slightly in red. And then at the back, the diffuser is in red. Now, these are actually carbon fiber material, but uh, they use um, red thread, okay, red metallic thread. Hence, you see the reddish color. So I do quite like that Mini GT has done that detail. However, not here is the actually on this top portion as well there is some carbon fiber parts in red as well the side mirror okay that's in uh, carbon fiber red as well and also this back spoiler here so this back spoiler it may not look much right but this actually uh, adds another i think 50 or 150 kilograms of downforce it's pretty crazy that's pretty crazy okay so again um this is uh the red carbon fiber detail is actually missing from the mini gt one two and the side mirror however however if you take a closer look at the side mirror right i'm going to try and zoom in a little bit more if you take a closer look at the side mirror you can see how the shape 
of the side mirror is right you can see bottom here there's a little bit of a, a bump and then see here on the inner side of the side mirror it has that sharp edge as well yep that is actually according to the real car okay that is according to the real car let me just show you the comparison compared to the RS6 see this is just a normal shaped a very normal shaped side mirror right okay so if you compare it to this guy look at that so I do quite like that Mini GT has captured that detail okay very nice very very nice so um, body part wise I think these two are actually very similar uh, I guess the main difference oh okay I need to point out this as well you see this uh, inlet here okay you see the signature edition it's all flat right but uh, here on the RSR RS6R okay you can see some details there on the inlet there's some there's a car nut on the side as well okay nice nice so this doesn't have it okay a little bit of difference here and there that's actually very nice okay you can see the difference but this this detail here this red metallic again carbon fiber yep that do actually exist on a real car however it goes it surrounds the whole entire intake okay uh, intake grill uh, but uh, on mini gt no they just done the side so good try good try however the rims which is um each of them i think it's 3.5 kg lighter the rims yes this is the actual rim design of the uh the signature version very nice very nice so side view pretty much identical okay side view is pretty much identical if you go to the back okay the twin pipes on the left and right is captured nicely as well okay the audi logo the app uh, logo on the on the uh, number plate holder i do quite like they have this detail here on my left okay it's nice um it's it doesn't it, it doesn't exist on the john app signature version however on the real car right there is um a branding on the middle here okay which is uh it's not here there's also some branding on the middle here as well the john um jo sorry johan johan app um signature okay appears down here and also here on the real car okay then next thing i want to point out would be the interior um the in one of the interesting part okay would be the interior actually the john uh, the johan signature edition right um it does contain parts bits of the uh original anvil that he's a blacksmith so anvil is that thing where you know you knock if you don't know what anvils you go google it okay uh it's very common um in in blacksmith's uh, uh shops and uh so you do they do actually include a bit of it a small part of it in the center uh, console area okay a piece of uh, memory piece of history piece of memory piece of history cool all right so yeah very very nice black very very nice black okay and then this guy will be in daytona gray um the other one on pre-order still is um the other one is uh, blue right so i think i covered everything that i want to cover uh in, in this video so thank you so much for watching i do have got a couple of extras of these uh these two guys not many left uh, at the time of recording available through collectors cube okay they are on facebook instagram and tiktok they have their own website as well they do ship international so do look them up i do handle their social media right as of today and uh what else um hit the like button okay because that will help me out with the youtube algorithms hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you don't miss on any of my other that class videos let me know if you uh, if there's any mini gt cars that you want to see you want me to spend a little bit more time talking about it um let me know in the comment section below cool uh, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.